How much longer will Microsoft support Windows 10 and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna jump right in to is Windows 10 going away? Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, is it going away? How long can you run a Windows 10 product? Um, and of course, my videos are focused on IoT, but we do touch on the regular Windows 10 a little bit just so you can keep the two separated. It does get confusing for a lot of people when you see news pop up about Windows 10 and you ask yourself, you know, does that also include Windows 10 IoT? So let's jump into it. In my latest Knowledge Blast video, I talk about two subjects, the Windows 10 end of support retirement, um, which was October 14th, 2025. That's when Microsoft is retiring the regular version of Windows 10. So that's all the life that is left in a regular Windows 10 product. Now, certainly after, um, as, as far as going end of life, you could buy a Windows 11 and downgrade, but your support, in this case, we're specifically talking about the support for the product. It is done October 14th, 2025. No more support. Of course, the support is based on the build version. And the latest version is build 22H2. And that version only gets support until May 14th, 2024. So there's still a little space there. And that could be because there's going to be another build of Windows 10 or another update that could push it a little further. But we absolutely know the furthest that Microsoft's going to go on the regular version of Windows 10, which is your home and pro, is going to be October 14, 2025. No more support past that date. So when we start talking about the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise family of products, um, and again, you'll notice I don't have LTSC on here, so we're not talking about the long-term service channel. We're talking about the GAC version, the general available channel, which comes out with a new build every year, and the license allows you to move between builds. That version, will get you support until May 13th, 2025. Um, and, and again, there's a room there between these dates that, that seem odd, right? But ultimately for our channel, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, that's the date to keep in mind. If they do come out with another build, uh, which they may or may not, um, it will probably only be supported until that, 20, that October 14th, 2025 date. To go beyond that date, you're gonna need um, to move to the LTSC version. So let's look at the roadmap for the SAC GAC, which is your semi-annual channel. That's what it started out being called because there was a release, a new build version semi-annually, twice a year. They've since then, as of a year ago, moved to a one release per year that they now call GAC or general available channel. and the thing that's great about this roadmap I created is that you can see all 14 build versions of Windows 10. So Windows 10 has 14 build versions. And of those 14, 10 of them are already out of support. So you can see the red marks there. All of those are out of support, um, no longer supported. You literally have to be on build 20H2, 21H1, 21H2 or 22H2 in order to get security patches and support. So you can also see we're very close to losing another one, which is right in here in December 13, 22. Um, that version, once we hit past December 13, you know, that version is going to fall off and you're going to be down to the three versions of Windows 10 that have support. As we move into next summer, May of 2023, that version is going to fall off. And there will only be two versions of Windows 10 that is supported. Again, I'll remind you, this is not the LTSC version that we're talking about. We're talking about the GAC version, but only two build versions left. And you can see those dates of support. So the 21H2 build will take you to June of 2024. And then the current 22H2 build will get you to May 13th, 2025. After that, there is no more uh, versions of Windows 10. Uh, and literally, if you want to go further, that's where you're going to have to move to the LTSC version. 
The LTSC version, the long-term service channel, it's the version that 98% of our OEMs use because they want the long life and they want the long 10 years of support. The other 2% are OEMs that just have to be on the latest build version when they ship their device. Whatever their appliance is requires the latest and greatest. Most OEM with appliances, they don't want the latest and greatest. They want the version that is locked in, very reliable, very secure, and gets 10 years of support. So there's only four build versions, and you can see that the 2021 version, which is based on build 21H2, it's gonna be supported until all the way until January of 2032. So if you need to stick with a Windows 10 family of products, you have um, literally nine, nine years of support still left on that product. And so a long life cycle, long support cycle, it'll take care of you. So with that, if you have questions, drop a comment below, hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned, stay up to date with my channel and the latest news with Windows IoT. I appreciate all the support. Hope this video and the roadmaps help you guys. And with that, thank you. We'll see you later.